With SSH, are you giving away the keys to your kingdom? You're using SSH for the highest levels of privileged access everywhere across your network, for administrator to machine and machine to machine connections. Because SSH provides this level of access, you'd think SSH keys would be among the most protected security assets. But are they? Where are your keys? When employees are let go, aren't their usernames and passwords revoked within minutes? But their SSH keys are not revoked. In fact, they're left active indefinitely because SSH keys never expire. It wouldn't be that hard for them to waltz back into your system when you least expect it, even years later. But even if you wanted to revoke an SSH key, it's not that easy. It's like a free-for-all. There are few policies or security controls and no audits for SSH keys. Administrators are left to help themselves. Often, keys are used in multiple systems, creating a complicated web of interdependencies. Additionally, multiple people may use the same key to navigate this rat's nest. Revoking just one key may have unforeseen consequences you don't want to be responsible for. What if the domino effect stopped an important daily file transfer that disrupted timely financial records? Or critical updates are not completed, leaving a gaping hole in your security? What about you? Do you know who's holding your keys and what they have access to?